Hi, it's you and Ellery here making bonsai in Australia and in this video I'm going to be taking the first steps of turning this mulberry into a bonsai but I also wanted to do a bit of an update and repotting on this mulberry tree. A bit over two years ago I did my first video on this mulberry um, and look I will leave a link up above so that you can check that out. Um, but what I did was um, quite a drastic root pruning. Um, and then I also pruned back a lot of the branches just to start to develop a bit of taper. So you can actually see, um, if I get this up, and you'll see a bit better when I um, actually take it out of the pot, but there is a, a good bit of taper developing in the trunk. Um, but I guess there are a couple of problems with that approach. So Number one was um, what happened was because I just kind of pruned it all back to one upright branch um, or trunk. <laughs> so because I did that, I just kept getting individual trunks growing up and didn't have any back budding. So look, I've got the, the starts of some branches coming out now, which is ideal. Um, but the problem now is that it's been in the pot for over two years um, and it really needs a repotting. So I'll get to do a bit of repotting, but this, um, this mulberry here is one of many that I've grown from a cutting from this tree. And you can see from this mulberry that, um, and again, you'll see a lot more as I go through there, but um, it's getting quite thick. And the reason as to why it is getting so thick is because, um, well, one of the main reasons, it's not in a bonsai pot, it's in better soil for the tree, um, but it's also been growing its roots into the soil for the last um, almost a year since I moved to this house. Um, so it's gotten a lot of vigor and I've just pruned back kind of here and there as it's grown, um, but not as much and as severely as I have with this one, trying to prune it back to get budding lower down. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, um, yeah, repot this into a training pot and depending on how um, this is appearing in terms of, um, yeah, the general kind of root structure, um, I might put it into this pot, but if I do, I'll be putting in a bit of better soil. First things first, I'm just going to take this out of the pot. So yeah, the top of this root mass, this is probably still more it can grow. Um, but all of the roots are kind of matted quite a lot at the bottom, um, where all of the, the, the moisture goes. Um, cops a lot of sun where I live at the moment. Uh, so the top of the soil kind of dries out a fair bit, so less attractive for those roots. So I believe this soil, I think it was a potting mix soil that I'd gotten for another tree that I put it in. Um, it's quite sandy, which is which is good for uh, trees that want kind of well draining draining soil, um, but probably not quite as ideal for these mulberries. I've tended to find that these mulberries do um, really well when I've got them, at least in this this environment. Um, do quite well when I've got them in just more of a standard kind of potting mix. So don't want to do too harsh of a root pruning um, today, just given that the, the, the tree itself isn't in the most healthy kind of environment. Just want to kind of prune it back to um, some kind of a root ball that I'll be able to work with in future. But still leave plenty of roots there to feed the tree. All right, so as you can see, it's yeah starting to get some decent taper. So you can see there where I've, I've chopped back some of the, the larger um, branches in the past. Um, but yeah, it's starting to get a good bit of flare at the bottom, um, which is which is great. It's just been growing a lot slower than all of my other trees. So yeah, I'll put this in uh, just a, back in a training pot um, with some, some good soil for it. So yeah, just putting in very standard um, potting mix. Um, well, good quality potting mix, but definitely not 
ones I soil. Throwing it in on top and I've pruned those roots back just so that the edges of the, the root ball are not touching the edges of the pot. Just so it's got a bit more space to, to grow out radially. Yeah, because there's a, a lot of roots down there, um, but very minimal foliage. Um, the tree's not as healthy as it could be, so I'm going to leave all of that foliage. Um, yeah, it's not going to be too much for the, the tree. It's not going to spend too much energy trying to keep these healthy because there's so little. Um, and it'll help, yeah, just kind of bring in the, the nutrients and the sunlight. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this at that. But yeah, just putting it in this pot so we can get a lot more vigor. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully next time I repot it, I can put it into a standard, into a bonsai pot. So for now, I'm gonna work with this one. So I've cleaned off the bottom of the, the pot here where these roots are growing out. But yeah, as you can see, there's quite some root structure coming out of the, the pot here. And I kind of want to save this pot if I can, so... Um, trying to whittle away at the roots just so I can actually put it out of the uh, pot without cutting the pot that should be enough there we go just rake away the top soil I believe from memory um, I've actually repotted these um, what was originally a, a cutting um, a couple of times back in the day to um, you know, maybe a year or so ago, a bit over a year or so ago now, um, just to try and um, get some radial kind of root structure. So I'm hoping, hoping there's something decent in that nature. Just not sure if there's going to be any any kind of thick ones or if we're just going to be dealing with. Well, obviously there are some thick ones, but as to where they're coming out and if I'll keep them. That's another story. I was hoping I could do a bit more of a delicate repotting, but yeah, it seems um, some of those thicker roots are coming from fairly high up. And then kind of, yeah, going down to where they were getting into the, the ground from the bottom of the pot. So I'm gonna to wanna to prune those back to a lot closer to the um, rest of the, the root ball, just so I can get um, some nice root structure going for some future Nabari. Should be a lot more taxing on the tree, but um, yeah, if I put it somewhere where it's not in direct sunlight, um, give it some, some good soil, shouldn't uh, yell at me too much. So yeah, those big roots there, cut them back to the root ball. There's another couple of big roots that are kind of circling around, going pretty radial. So, I mean, sorry, not radial, um, yeah, circling around, let's leave it at that. So yeah, just trying to get rid of these, these larger roots whilst keeping the um, the feeder roots that are near the center. There's another root that's kind of wrapping all the way around the side. Um, it's leaving the trunk about there. So I'm just going to prune that back to about here. And hopefully, hopefully that'll uh, yeah, grow out again a lot more radially. Don't want all these growing too long. I want them to kind of keep compact and closer to the center of that root mass. So quite a bit that's um, been cut off this 
now. Um, but yeah, so I'm really gonna have to, to prune back quite a bit of the foliage just so it's not too taxing. Um, doesn't require too much energy, which it can't supply without more of a root system. Now, what I will be doing is trying to keep a fair bit of this, this branching structure lower down. So I'm just gonna start pruning things a little bit closer into center mass of the tree. Um, well, leaving some branches for now, just until I kind of know what I want to keep. And definitely aiming to keep those lower down branches, especially where they're you know, nice and semi kind of horizontal, but also pruning back to develop a bit of taper. And then I'll go in there and prune off individual branches a bit later. Once I know what kind of general structure I want to keep. And all of these um, will grow from cutting quite easily if I want more. I could leave, um, cut, prune it back to here and keep that as the apex. Um, but the problem with that is that, yeah, it's kind of a good bit of taper down here where I've pruned back quite severely in the past. Um, but then it'll kind of be pretty much the same kind of taper all the way up. Now, if I pruned it back to there, I'd probably get something budding there. Uh, but then this branch would look a lot thicker than the leader until it developed a bit more bigger. So what I'm actually going to do is I can see a small bud off here. So I'm going to prune this back a bit higher up than that and hope that it buds back just a bit lower. All right, so this is now, yeah, the start of what will ultimately be my bonsai. So it's already got some some pretty kind of cool um, branching, a lot of thickness. It's you know almost as thick as my my thumb. Um, so I could keep it as that. Could then throw that into um, you know into this here pot, and I'd have a you know passable kind of bonsai in not too long. Um, what I want to do, just because the majority of these roots are really thin, uh, I actually want to put this back into a training pot just to get a lot more vigor, um, get a, a nice um, convincing kind of leader and a bit more thickness in a lot of these branches um, before I then put it into a bonsai pot. So I'm going to put it back into its pot now. So again, all of those roots are kind of positioned in a manner that... Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's not, they're not yet hitting the, the edge of the pot again, so it can kind of, yeah, the roots can grow out a little bit before they hit the edge of the pot and then start to kind of wrap around. And I'm going to bury the um, top of those roots, keep them kind of a little bit submerged, just so that the, um, yeah, when the soil at the top dries out, they're kept nice and safe. All right, so there you have the first steps at turning this particular mulberry into a bonsai. Um, so yeah, starting to get a, a fair bit of um, good branching on this already. A lot of thickness in the trunk um, and a lot of taper is starting to establish. And yeah, all of this is having grown it from a cutting a bit over two years ago. So um, already it's a lot more established and a lot more convincing in terms of a bonsai um, than this one, which I jumped the gun and went straight into trying to put it into a bonsai pot. Um, and yeah, well, you can see how it's gone. <laughs> so look, I hope you enjoyed this video, took something from it. Um, always helps when you can learn from somebody else's mistakes as opposed to your own, um, but it's all a learning journey. So look, I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified with my future videos when I release it. Now I do have a couple of other videos where I kind of go into a lot more detail around, you know, what you should be doing with your bonsai if you do want to develop a nice thick trunk. Um, and you know, alternate strategies if you do just want to kind of jump in there and grow something that's passable as a bonsai first up, especially, you know, you might be keen on that kind of instance if you don't have a lot of variety or bonsai to begin with. So look, I'll leave a link up above so you can check one of those videos out. But look, thanks for your time today. Enjoy. Bye.